This week I'm testing the Renault Colios. It's a mid-size five-seater SUV. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Colios, there are ice picks in the two outer seats. They are within plastic guides and nice and easy to connect to. There are top tether anchorages on the back of all three seat backs. They're easy to connect to and access through the boot. Now I did manage to get three child seats in the back here, which is really good. And I found with rear facing child seats, there's loads of leg room. We could get a 184 centimeter passenger in front, which is excellent. Storage in the back of the Renault Colios is good. There's a fold down in the central seat back with two cup holders. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fit in them too. The door bins are a good size. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and there's the little handle wells too. On the back of both front seats there are mat pockets. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. In the front the storage is good too. In the central console there are two cup holders and there's a heating and cooling switch there for them. Behind them the central console box is small but it's nice and deep. In front of the gear lever is a foam well with a USB port. The glove box is a good size, it will hold my wallet and iPad with the manual. And there's a glasses case in the ceiling too. The door bins are a lovely size in the front, they'll hold a larger fillable water bottle and there's room behind them and there's the handles in the wells too. The boot door of the Renault Colios opens and closes nice and quietly. It's really good for not waking little passengers. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty, it will hold 12 shopping bags, or the Duet Twin Stroller and two shopping bags, the Tandem Stroller and three shopping bags, the Single Stroller and four shopping bags, or the Compact Stroller and seven shopping bags, or a medium to large dog. The Renault Colios isn't a bad car to drive. There's a couple of points that still haven't changed though that I find really do affect the drive for me. One is accelerating up hills. The car almost has like a mooing sound where it's struggling to accelerate up them. Also, these side wing mirrors, they're really large and they really obstruct a large amount of your vision right and left, especially at junctions. The media system in the Renault Colios is in this portrait style and it is quite simple and easy to navigate and to use. It does have a lot of adaptability in the volume settings for a lot of things in the car, which is really good, like the indicator volume and voice command, parking sensors, things like that, which is great for not disturbing little passengers. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is great. When I put it into reverse, the parking sensors are extremely sensitive I've found, but you can mute the sound with the button up there. I'm also not a fan of the screen being split 50-50 like this, because it just makes your camera image really small and it's a little bit pixelated. So to sum up with the Renault Colios, it is a very practical five-seater family SUV. The legroom and boot space alone are fantastic and it does just fit those three child seats in too. The media system does have Apple CarPlay and it's very adaptable in terms of sound. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au